Supercar racer Shane Van Geisenberg is no stranger to racing. With 46 poles, 80 wins, and 3 championships, we're here to look at today why Shane Van Gisberg and racing in the Chicago Street Race was good for NASCAR. When it was first announced that SVG would be racing in the Project 91 car, I don't really think there was much buzz around it. Kimi Raikkonen was the last one to drive in that Project 91, and he has made prior NASCAR starts in the NASCAR Truck Series and the NASCAR Xfinity Series. And he brought the 91 machine home at Watkins Glen in an 18th place finish. And this isn't a huge deal for SVG, because he simply raced a race. Because we've had foreign NASCAR drivers and people out of the NASCAR world race in NASCAR, such as Jetson Button and Connor Daly, just to name two. At the Chicago Street Race, SVG was flawless all day long, topping the charts at practice, qualifying third, finishing third and fourth in stage one and two, and then going on to win the race all in his first NASCAR Cup Series start. And this win was not handed to Shane either. He had to overcome restart after restart, caution after caution. Think about how many restarts were perfect and how many wrecks he avoided. Like, come on. But let's take a look at the part of the race that sticks out to me the most. They had to cut the race short from 100 laps down to 75 laps due to darkness. And this was really just a all of a sudden call. The teams were informed really when we, the watchers, were watching it on TV. And this changed the strategy up for a lot of these teams. In the closing laps of the race, maybe about 10 cars stayed out when they all pitted because they didn't have to. They had enough gas to make it to lap 75. And on the same lap that they restarted from, Carnage broke loose. Oh, Byron missed the corner. Harvick around. They're going to stack up. It's too narrow. There's nowhere for everybody to go. you got to go right. They are all been stopped. There are seven cars sitting here with nowhere to go. They're trying to back up. It is a traffic jam. Like, there's the traffic absolutely jam. nowhere to go right here. After that traffic jam, that put SVG maybe about 13th for the next restart. And he flawlessly made his way up the pack through the field. The main two beneficiaries to call this race shorter was Justin Haley and Austin Dillon. Now, Austin Dillon was racing Justin Haley and wrecked himself. So, I mean, you got to expect that from Austin Dillon. I'm, I cannot stand him. I thought Justin Haley had it in the bag. Chase Elliott was sucking. There was no way he was going to get past Haley. And then out of nowhere, I see that 91 climbing up the scoring pylon, and I'm like, it's about to go down. A late race caution came out for Martin Truex Jr. after he hit the tire barrier. And simultaneously, SVG was about to make the pass on Justin Haley, but the caution came out. So that was something. So we had to have another restart. But after that restart, SVG was flawless. There was no catching him. And if you did catch him, you that would feel greater than actually winning the race itself. He was so incredibly fast. His fastest lap of 88 miles an hour was three times faster than anyone's best lap in the field. That is crazy. Imagine you're at Talladega going 205 miles an hour and the rest of the field is going like 150. Like, oh my guys, was the most watched NASCAR NBC race of all time pulling 4 million viewers. That is is crazy with this type of success in that type of winner i wonder what other drivers are open now to run a nascar race imagine no one with any cup experience at all goes in and wrecks the field granted he does street courses for a living but that still doesn't take away that that is a whole new car that he had to learn and he had way less experience than half of that field. After that performance by SVG, I think we will get more foreign drivers and more drivers from other series because they can say, okay, I'm not just doing this for money. I can actually win this if I'm put in the right equipment. Just imagine Lewis Hamilton in that Project 91 car. I know that will probably never happen, but just imagine 
because he, I don't think he's ever done anything with NASCAR. I think the most he's ever affiliated with any type of stock car racing is voicing uh, a character on Cars 3. Okay, I don't think he will ever get close to touching NASCAR, but just imagine him looking at that race looking at SVG and going, if he can do it, I can. And that goes for every single driver. And this is just one race that has produced all of those future opportunities. This is a monumental step in the right direction for NASCAR. So that is why I think SVG's win was monumental for NASCAR. Since a driver has won in their series debut, well, through turn 11, Shane Van Gisbergen has been perfect. He has navigated the streets of Chicago to perfection. The final time onto the front stretch. He comes to the checkered flag. He's won the very 